Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to go over the power of surrender cards. I wanted to do a little Oracle deck review uh, because these are cards I like to use in client readings. They're nice little additions to the readings and I find that they just give a little extra something to the reading overall and they kind of leave you with plenty to think about, plenty to ponder on so that you walk away with something. They just add, you know, a little cherry on top or the sprinkles, if you will, to the reading. And these are also ones that I use for myself as well. So, um, you know, they're not wasted in any way. Um, although I feel like if you're using them, they're not really wasted, but anyway, um, so let's go ahead and just get started. So this is the box, Power of Surrender cards. There are 52 cards. It is by Judith Orloff and it's a Hay House deck. This is the back. It's about $22. And this is kind of how the cards are kind of set up, where there's a title, an illustration, and a little something at the bottom. So let's get into that and see what they look like. Now, it did not come with a guidebook. I think there's an online guidebook that's an app, if I'm not mistaken, if I think that's what this is. Either that or maybe this is a way to share the, the readings that you get. I'm not sure, but it did not come with a guidebook. So these are the backs of the cards. They're a nice little sunset over the water with nice clouds going on here. And they have a glossy finish as you can tell with my light reflecting off of them trying to make sure that they're not there's not too much glare so yeah let's take a look at some of the cards surrender to complete healing and so this is how the cards are set up they have the title and a square illustration here these very large borders and then a little uh, statement at the bottom so this one is surrender to complete healing open fully to the loving compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical emotional and spiritual healing so that's how they kind of all are they all have A corresponding image and a statement <clears throat> to go along with them and I find that because it has the little statement it you walk away with something you know it has just enough like meat on its bones that you know you're not you're not hungry too much after having it so Let's take a look at a few more. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Now, I personally feel like if we just had the square, like if the cards were square like this, um, like where it was just this portion, like just the illustration with the title somewhere in there. And then the statement was in a guidebook. I feel like it would be much more aesthetic. It would be much more enjoyable as a deck because these borders really like draw your attention away from the illustration. They kind of take away from the picture itself, at least in my opinion. Surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down. 
Honor your need for quiet time, peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind and body and spirit. Surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let your joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. That's hard to do. Some of these, you know, they they have their statements, but, you know, it's up to you how much, like, these cards mean to you. You know, like, they're obviously... I guess that's true of all cards, but the some of these are just, they hit you kind of right in the gut because you just, you know, because surrendering is so hard to do. And you just, you know how hard it is to let something go, to like surrender your attachment to results. That is so difficult, you know, especially as a perfectionist, it becomes so difficult to surrender and let things go and let things be and not be attached to the result of something you know the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen then let go of the results holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it right and we know that you know part of us always knows that we are self-sabotaging by not surrendering by not letting go but it's so hard to do it it is so hard to release and I think because part of it is that we become addicted to holding on we become attached to the resistance we become attached to the block that's in our way that we don't we can't let it go we can't Surrender it to the flow. And I think that's also one of the cards in here. Surrender to miracles. Surrender to divine timing. Surrender fear. Surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. See, like that's a very specific message. And, but I also feel like it's really hard to do, you know, especially if you have a lot of impatience, if you feel like you need to rush things. It may be really easy to succumb to that that time frame that you're trying to work in and push forward but I think being hasty is usually what leads to mistakes so you know surrendering to non-action and learning how to be patient and simply focus on yourself and like it, the card says let others come to you that can be really hard, you know. These present a lot of difficulties. These kind of show where in our life we need to we need to work on. And that to me, I think goes to show that cards like these, decks like these are just so important for us to work with and for us to really, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? For us to really interact with because they seem really simple and they seem really on the outside very rudimentary very simple type of cards but they're showing you so much here they're nice additions to readings because they give you something to think about they give you something about your life to to act on because they show where maybe you're lacking where maybe you're you need that extra bit of work, you know, you need to focus on. It shows that 
this is what needs your attention. So let's look at a few more. Surrender denial. It's a really good image. I love this flower. And some of these are obviously easier said than done, like this one, surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of, of low self-esteem. Like that's obviously a lot easier said than done, but it addresses the issue, you know, which you may be in denial about, but when you're faced with something like this, it goes to show like, this is an issue. This is something that needs your attention. And really these are kind of just like starting off cards, right? Like this just tells you this is where your journey begins, you know, with surrendering low self-esteem. And there's a long journey ahead of you to complete it. Surrender obsessive thinking. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Surrender to your intuition. Tune in to your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Okay. I won't go through all of them, but I just kind of wanted to show you this deck because it's a really interesting deck to work with, and sometimes it really gut punches you. Sometimes it it tells you things that are a lot easier said than done. And overall, I think it's a really nice addition to any reading because it really helps kind of narrow down your focus. Like, hey, this is where you need to pay attention. This is where your work and efforts should really go into. And yeah, I really, really like that about this deck. So that is all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll do more deck reviews in the future. Um, sorry, I'm kind of I'm doing this like watching it through the camera and not like actually watching my hands. Anyway, um, so I'll do more reviews like this in the future um, if that's you know what you want. Um, I'll probably do it anyway because I like reviewing stuff, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you like the cards. I hope that you found them interesting. I think they're a worthwhile venture. So yeah, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, um, I do have a Patreon in case anyone is interested and I, I post my personal journey on there. I also do collective readings on there as well so in case you're interested in that I do also do a lot of like audio files as well in case you don't just want to watch things you can just have me to listen to so yeah and I also create little printables or little PDFs that have information on it as well so in case you're interested in that there is a patreon for you to go to and I am going to be much more active on there in these coming months. So uh, look forward to that in case you're interested. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.